What's good guys, it's Harvey underscore underscore banger here and today I am back with yet another video and in this one I will be discussing the current situation of COVID-19 in Victoria and around Australia. So unfortunately, obviously I can't really talk about it globally, but if you are somewhere outside Australia, let me know in the comments down below how you your country is handling the virus and how you're trying to protect against it because I know here we're doing everything we can to try and stamp it out as quickly as possible. But moving on, I thought I would just share my thoughts on what's happening currently where I'm from in Melbourne, in Victoria, the state of Victoria. We entered a state of emergency a couple of nights ago and we have now progressed into stage four lockdown. What this means is that you can only exercise with two people outside. You have to do it within a five kilometer radius of your home and you only can go out for the essential needs. Many businesses are closing. I think my family's business will be closing, which is very unfortunate. And a lot of people have lost a lot of jobs already and a lot of money. And that is only unfortunately going to continue to happen. Now, the reason this virus is still a thing in Australia, obviously you can't just stamp it out, but the other states have attempted and have successfully stamped it out for the majority of their state. Unfortunately here, we have a few struggling idiots that just refuse to follow the rules, that don't stay home when, you know, obviously you have to stay home. It's quite self-explanatory. There's a bloody virus going around. You have to stay home. Going out for the wrong reasons, doing the wrong things, and people traveling into state when the borders are closed. A recent example was a couple of, well, I don't want to say, I don't want to say anything rude, but not very, um, well, pretty ridiculous, uh, dumb looking women uh, that decided they were going to travel from Victoria all the way up to the top of the country in Queensland where they have no COVID cases really. Um, and unfortunately, they decided they were going to travel. They got through border security and got through into the country, uh, into the state. So it is a, a great disappointment that we have so many people like this that are not following the rules and doing those things. So I do urge you, please wear a mask, stay home if you don't have to go out anywhere and try and order online and do all these things, follow all the social distancing rules, just don't go out, there's no need to go out. You can exercise, obviously do, but if you can in your house, do it in your house, don't need to go outside for that. But another thing is as well, uh, our government has done a fantastic job, I believe, of, uh, you know, of trying to contain this virus. And I think that it is really a shame that the government has unfortunately come under a lot of scrutiny from the general public, which is a real, it is a real disappointment because I think they've done everything they possibly can and it's not their fault. Yes, they have made a couple of mistakes along the way, but that is always bound to happen. They're dealing with a global pandemic that's killing many of their citizens and also the people around the world and destroying people's lives and their families' lives, which is, it's such a, a sad time in the world. It's such a tough time in the world, but these are the problems we have here. People don't believe in the virus. People don't support the government at all. So we urge, uh, you know, obviously around the world as well, wear your masks. Uh, I know in the US now they're sort of enforcing it. I find it very weird. In other countries, you know, they don't seem to be taking it as serious and they're having way more deaths than we are. You know, we're having about four or five deaths a day and these are only people in uh, the age 90s and 80s and those sorts of ages. But it is, you know, obviously it's still a thing. It's still very prominent around the world. I'm so grateful to be in Australia because we have it a lot better off than some other countries. So it is a, a great pleasure to to be in this country and I think that our government has done everything they possibly can you know the I fully support the Black Lives Matter movement but I think that rioting and uh, protesting especially here is not was not the way to go and unfortunately we did do that and that has unfortunately helped in starting a second wave as well as the uneducated security guards as well in hotel quarantine that were spreading the virus without even knowing what they were doing um, so it is a shame that we are in this. We want to get through it together. Obviously, the theme in Australia has sort of been we're all in this together, that song. So that guy will be making a lot of money. He wrote that song about 25 years ago. But he'll be making a lot of money now. It's sort of the anthem for us in Australia. We're all in this together, and we are all in this together. I urge, wear a mask, social distance. Don't go out unless you need to. And if you are watching from somewhere else in Australia or around the world, please comment down below and tell me how you're going through the COVID-19 crisis. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.